In this video, I'm going to explain the X, Y, and Z axes in a light motion. So grab your phone and follow along with me. Let's start with the X axis. Here I have a circle shape. If I move it left and right, that's the X axis. Simple, right? Now if I move the same circle up and down, that's called the Y axis. Now let's talk about the Z axis and how it works. Follow along. First, I'll add a black background and zoom it out using the Z axis like this. Then I'll increase the size of the background to cover the screen. Next, I'll add a photo of Messi. I'll adjust the Z-axis to zoom out and make the photo larger, just like this. After that, I'll add a photo of Ronaldo and slightly zoom it in using the Z-axis. I'll adjust its position so everything looks perfect. Now comes the fun part. I'll add a camera layer. Let me show you why I'm focusing so much on the Z-axis using the keyframes. I'll zoom in and out with the Z-axis to create a smooth 3D effect. To make the animation even better, I'll use a graph between the keyframes for smoother movement. Finally, I'll add another keyframe for the finishing touch. And here's the final result. You can see how the Z-axis adds depth and creates that amazing 3D effect.